Hello everyone, welcome to Speedway Motors Tech Talk. My name is Joe, and today we're gonna to talk about our tie rod and drag link kits. Now we sell an awful lot of these, and people always have a question about how to measure. And the simple answer to that question is you always measure eye to eye on your steering arm or pitman arm to steering arm. Uh, center of hole to center of hole is the measurement that you spec when you call an order or when you place your order on the site. What that means is the length of the tube is going to be three inches shorter than the specified measurement with the, the rod ends installed. So with that being said, there's a little bit more to it than that, and we're going to dive into it here on this Model A. Now we've already measured for the tie rod on this car, and when you measure the tie rod, make sure that the tires are pointed straight ahead and that the toe is more or less set the way that you want it. Now you do have some adjustment on these. They're right and left hand threads on, on each end. So as you turn the tube, it will shorten and lengthen the tube. And you have, uh, you'll have a little bit of adjustment there, but it's important to get really close right out of the gate. So on this car, we had the tires pointed straight forward. We had the toe set. We made our measurement from the center of the hole in the steering arm on one side to the center of hole in the steering arm on the other side. And, and that's how we got our measurement. Now on the drag link, we're gonna show you how, how we got there. And it's real easy to see on this car because we have a cowl steering set up here. Pitman arm is hanging out for everybody to see. Here's the steering arm on the, the driver's side wheel. So uh, let's take our measurement. So we're taking our measurement from the center of the hole in the steering arm to the center of the hole in the pitman arm for this drag link. In this case, we have the tape hooked on the back side of the hole in the steering arm. And so we're measuring to the back side of the hole in the pitman arm. It's a great way to get center to center without having to guess. Uh, in this case, we have 38 and a half inches. Now it's also, this is a great time to mention, you know, we talked about having the steering centered, having the wheels pointed straight ahead. We also have the car at ride height. This, this is a great time before you commit to ordering this length, look at any variables, look at anything that could change that would affect that measurement before you order it. In this case, we're pretty confident in that 38 and a half inch length. And so we'll, we'll go to the Speedway Motors catalog. And in this case, for this particular length, we don't have it. We don't have an off the shelf kit that, that is correct for that 38 and a half inches. So you have two choices. One, you can order a custom tie rod and drag link kit, which we do offer. If you wanna save some money and take matters into your own hands, which is what we're gonna do here, we're gonna cut this down. We've got the next length longer. We're gonna cut it down and tap it, and we're gonna show you how to do that. All right, we know our overall length is 38 and a half inches, and so that means we're gonna cut our tube down to 35 and a half inches. So first thing we'll do is thread the rod ends out on both sides. All right, as we get ready to measure, one thing to keep in mind is most of us have a right hand tap, whether it be 11 16 like this one or 5 8 or whatever size your kit is, fewer of us have a left hand tap. So if you're gonna cut the threads off of one side and replace them, probably best to cut the right hand side off, assuming that's the tap that you have. So that being said, we're gonna measure 35 and a half inches, which is our 38 and a half minus three. All right, and that'll just give it a little protection where it clamps into the chop saw. You can use just about anything to make this cut, uh, just as long as it's a nice, nice square cut. All right, now we're gonna just deburr that cut that we just made. It's gonna, we're gonna just knock the sharp edges off on the outside, but it's gonna be really important inside since we're gonna have to run a tap through it that we clean off any burrs that are in there. All right, now we're ready to tap and we have our 11 16 18 right hand tap here. Uh, this is gonna be the same thing if you have a 5 8 tie rod. Um, in this case, we're sure that we're on the right hand side and we're ready to go. It 
It's especially important with stainless, but even on mild steel, I like to use some anti-seize on threads for these rod ends. Put a little bit of that on. A little bit goes a long way. We'll just leave this loose because we'll have some adjustment to do once we go to the car with it. On the left side, left hand side. All right, now it's time to go to the car and see how we did. All right, with the rod ends installed, we've left everything loose so we can kind of check it on the car and see how we did. Put this end through the steering hoop. This end on the pitman arm, it looks like we're pretty close. Shorten it up just a little bit. Looks like we looks like we got it. Then we'll put these castle nuts on to hold it in place. Normally, to finish this installation, you would tighten up these jam nuts once you had had your alignment set exactly the way you want it. Your wheel made sure that your wheel was was straight. Then you would lock down these jam nuts. You would tighten these castle nuts really tight to pull that taper in and and kind of press it in place. And then. Lastly, you would put some um, cotter pins in the castle nut to hold them in place. All very important. This is all really important, critical to the safety of the car. But again, we're still welding up all of this stuff on the pitman arm here, so, so we're not gonna lock this one down yet. It's also important to note that this process that we described, this is really the same for any of our tie rod kits. It's also the same for any steering setup. So if you have traditional Ford steering with an F1 box or Corvair box. If you have cross steer with a Vega box, it's the same thing. Wheels centered, steering wheel centered, measure center to center, and you'll end up with the right length for your tie rod or drag link. Hopefully that answers some of your questions, makes it easier the next time you need to order one of our tie rod or drag link kits. As always, thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions.